Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have another painting video. As you can see, this seems to be my painting backdrop now. Today I'm going to be painting a Knight of Dolamroth on foot. I'm painting one of the metal ones. And Forge World recently released the new resin ones, which look fantastic. My goal is to get at least one pack of them, maybe two. Uh, they look fantastic. I've already got six foot knights of Dolan Roth as, lo as well as uh, Prince Emma Hill on foot and two mounted knights so I do need to get another pack of a pack or two of mounted knights. Um, I don't know whether to find another foot Emra Hill and convert an Emra Hill or just buy a new Emra Hill. I'll get another foot model which I can always convert for battle companies and whatnot. But yeah, this this video, this will just be how I paint my Diane Rough Knights, the one foot ones. If you want me to do a mounted version of this video, throw a comment down below saying you want a mounted version, hit that like button. The more likes and comments I get, the more I'm likely to do that. So anyway, we're going to go under the main cam. Hi right, guys, so here we are. Uh, this is the Knight of Don Amroth I will be painting today. I've already done my test of knights. I know what I'm going for on this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is the bit that I really do enjoy doing first because I don't want to screw, I don't want to ever screw this bit up. Is I'm going to get the skin tone done first. So I'm going to start off with some Kiesler flush. Get that layered all over his skin, which pretty much for this model is just the face. Just this bit in here. And I'll do that bit and I'll come back to you. Okay, so that's the face done. That's the heart, the hardest part out of the way. I'm now going to move on to the armour. Get the biggest chunk of the model out of the way. And I will be doing the armour in my favourite armour tone. If you've watched all my other videos, you probably know I'm going to be using this. It will be the lead belt jar. So I'll slap that all over the model and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so now that that has dried, I'm going to hit it up next with McCraig Blue. I'm going to paint that on the shield part and I'm also going to paint that on the wavy little cloaky bit. So I'll do that and I'll come back. So now that I've done that part and the blue looks fantastic, I am next going to do his glove and I'm going to do them with another favourite of mine. Well, not excited. Paint that over the gloves so he's got nice leathery rustic gloves and we'll come back to you once I've done that. Okay so now that I've done the glove I'm next going to do the shield. I'm going to pick out all the raised bits on it so that they look different from the shield because they're blue obviously currently. And I'm going to do that with some good old ceramite white. So I've got a nice white emblem on the blue shield. I'll do that and I'll, uh, I'd recommend for this bit definitely using a fine detail brush because on this shield specifically some of the bits are really small. Um, I can see myself screwing this up a lot. We'll see what it looks like when I come back. Okay, so you can see the shield. It actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. I don't have a fine, fine detail brush, so I'm using the smallest possible one I can find, which is still pretty big in comparison to some of the other fine detail brushes out there. Okay, hey ho, one day we'll get a fine detail brush. But in the meantime, that's the best I can do with the shield. Final bit will be I'm going to go and base my model, and obviously I'm going to base it with the Morn Fang Brown. So I will crack that open, base the base, and come back to you afterwards. So, and there we have it guys. That's the finished look. I really like how this guy's come out. He looks just as good as the other guys that I've got off my line. I just need to go over a few bits that came off while I was painting. But yeah, so I'll come back in the post. And there we have it guys. That's the uh, finished model. He looks fantastic. Uh, the only other thing I'll probably do is add some Agrax Earth Shade to his face to accentuate his features. I'm really proud with how I managed to get the shield done. The shield looks fantastic. I'm very proud out of that. I did have to chop my brush back a little bit because there was a few bit, uh, bristles pointing uh, pointing out and getting in the way so I had to chop that back a little bit. But this is the way the rest of them look. He'll fit in nicely with the small little fiefdom army I've got coming. As of recording, the Warriors of the Fiefdom have gone live for pre-order so I won't be getting them straight away but they're now back in stock so I can get some Warriors of Lamadon and Axemen of Lossanac. I've already got Rangers of Middle Earth, so that's Zachary Vale Archers, so I just need to get the three heroes and I can have a fairly good Beefdom army. Now, as I said in the intro, I need to also get some more Knights of Dolan and Roth, both foot and mounted. Some men at arms, I'm definitely going to pick up some of them. But this guy looks fantastic. Can't wait to take this little army to a tournament. I might ally them in with some Gondor and see how they go. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below. Again, if you want to see the mounted version of this, smash that like button, subscribe. I've always got more videos coming out. Don't forget to tick that little bell. You'll get notified when 
that come, my videos go live. And we'll see you next time. Bye.